If we have the expression 8 to the power of 2 divided by 8 over 5 multiplied by 5, then what is the simplest possible answer for this expression? Which option do you believe is the correct answer to this question? Everyone thinks this question is so easy, but it confuses almost everyone. Let's dive in and break it down step by step together. And the first step to solve this question, most people go straight to the exponent, which is 8 squared. And they write this expression as 64 divided by 8 over 5 multiplied by 5. And the next step, they focus on the multiplication between 8 over 5 and 5. Because they believe multiplication has a higher priority than division. As you can see in the image, they simply cancel out the 5s and this expression simplifies to 64 divided by 8. Which finally gives them the answer 8. And immediately, they conclude that the correct answer to this question is option A. But this answer is absolutely wrong. Now let's go step by step together and I will show you how we should solve this expression properly. Alright, as you can see on the screen, in this expression, first we have an exponent, then a division sign, and finally a multiplication. To solve this question, we must follow the PEMDAS rule. In this rule, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. It means that we perform all the operations in this expression exactly according to the PEMDAS rule in order from top to bottom. Okay, first we start with the exponent, because in this question, exponent has a higher priority than the other operations. So, instead of this expression, we can write 64 divided by 8 over 5 multiplied by 5. In the next step, we need to move on to the division and multiplication. However, it's very important to note that multiplication and division have exactly the same level of priority in the PEMDAS row. In this situation, the best approach is to start from the left and move toward the right, performing these two operations in order. So, we we'll start with the expression 64 divided by 8 over 5. Okay, whenever we see a division sign between two terms, the best thing to do is to apply the KCF row. In this row, K stands for keep the first number as it is. C stands for change the division sign to multiplication. And F stands for flip the second fraction. So, we remove the highlighted part and write this expression as 64 times 5 over 8 multiplied by 5. Now, we can easily simplify the number 64 with the 8 in the denominator. And instead of this expression, we can write 40 multiplied by 5. Which finally gives us the answer 200. Therefore, option D is the correct answer to this question.